today's video is on um, the phrase "all men are trash." Um, I have a Same problem trash, with that. Yeah. Obviously, I guess I'd be biased <laughs> because I'm a man. Um, but that phrase. It's a really uh, hateful phrase. It's not uh, based in, in any sort of reality whatsoever. <laughs> all men do this. All men do that. Or all women are this. All men are women are that. It, it it doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work in like like those um, you know concrete either or situation. Okay, there are men who are trash for sure. There there for sure are. But there's also women who are trash too. And it's not because they're men or because they're women. I just think there's just, in general, trashy people, you know. And that's just what you're going to encounter in life in, in any circumstance. Um, you know, whenever you have two choices, uh, there's going to always be people on either choice, either side of the, the aisle. All right, can you, you can go, can you go now? There you go, thank you. You can come back at the end to say bye, okay? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> let me see if I can boil down what's going on for you uh, in that situation. And maybe you'll uh, look upon what I say uh, honestly uh, and you know, compare it to what you're doing in your own life and, and see that what I'm saying makes sense and it's, it's the reality for most people. And if you've watched more than a few of my videos, you'll see that most of my topics are all related in a circle. And I'll actually link them together here in this video. So, women's nature is to date up. Um, in my experience, women rarely will date an equal, but they will almost never, and I say almost never because I'm, there's always cases, like I said, um, but women almost never will date somebody who they consider underneath them in terms of uh, value. Uh, and usually... In our society, that value comes from beauty. Whether it's right or wrong, that's for you to that's for you to decide. I don't feel like it's right, but I understand it because you know, uh, if you want to know, if you want to read that book, you need to you need to be attracted to the cover, right? And that's basically how beauty works. Uh, you use your beauty to get yourself in the door um, for men and women, and then you reveal your personality. It's just that men are the ones that usually have the per more of a personality than ladies do. And that's why a lot of my videos, I talk about things to work on your personality as a lady. Because we all know beauty fades and, you know, it's a different age for every single person. But you're supposed to, as a lady, use your beauty when you're younger to get uh, the man for your future when your beauty is gone. Once your beauty fades, it's much harder to find a partner, and it's it's because society is based on that beauty. So when women say all men are trash, what they're really actually saying is the men that I choose are trash. Um, you need to take accountability for everything you do in life. That's how you become a better person. You admit your faults. You figure out what went wrong. But then you also got to make the decision consciously not to do that again because it was wrong. And women typically, for better or worse, and they know it, go for the, the toxic guy, the player, the bad boy, the dude who could get chicks because, you know, then obviously he's he has to have some kind of qualities about him if other chicks are going after him. And a lot of women won't admit it, but they actually want a guy who's capable of cheating on them because if the dude is just a quote-unquote lame and isn't able to, you know, to have attractiveness from other chicks, then uh, most ladies feel, why bother having this guy when there's nobody else who wants him? Ladies love the chase, but once the chase is over, that's when they're done. And so as a guy, you have to keep that chase going. You have to constantly give them the butterflies and the tingles and all these uh, completely unnecessary things that aren't realistic to real life, but to Disney movies, because that's what we all grew up on. Everybody's a prince, a princess, a king. We're all singing songs together for some reason. But that's why I said that all the decent guys, all the men who are out there for you ladies who want you and will be there for you and respect you, and they will not cheat on you, 
and they'll be honest, completely honest with you and protect you and love you. And if you have other children, you know, from a different marriage or relationship or whatever, they'll love your children just as if they were their children. Those guys exist. That's why I say they're in your friend zone. Check your friend zone. If you're serious, check your friend zone. No matter how old you are, you can always check your friend zone because you'll always find dudes who are always waiting for you. But the thing is, that those dudes aren't going to wait there forever. Men are wising up. They realize that women keep men to the side for their friend zone that they may want to pursue later on in life while they're doing the hot girl summers, you know, consecutive years in a row. And then once they, they don't really have much of that beauty left, that's when they decide to cash their chips in, go all in at the casino and, you know, stick with a dude that but they, they'll never be happy with that guy usually and you know they just use that guy uh, as a beta male for what he provides for them but you can find those dudes later on in life or early on excuse me early on in life if you wish to in your early 20s th that are there for you because they're going to be there for you at that stage the older you get more of those guys are going to drop off the only guys who don't drop off are those guys that you're chasing if you're especially if you're say I don't know. I don't know any of you, so I'll just put out a number. Say you're a four. You're just slightly, you know, in terms of attractiveness, you're you're slightly under average. Um, you know, you'll still get guys who are eights, nines, and tens who wanna who wanna hit it, because you know, really any anybody anymore. But guys, you know, they 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 want sex, and if they could get sex without a relationship from you, then they're gonna take it. Uh, you know, most guys are definitely going to do that, um, especially if they're single. And so when you go for those guys who just want to hit it and that's all they want, then you get salty about it and you complain and you get in your cars and make TikTok videos complaining about it and staging the crying events and things like that. Because why would you set up a TikTok? Okay, okay, I'm about to cry. Hold on a second. Or, or if you're in the middle of crying, hold on a second. I need to stop crying for a moment to set up my TikTok. No, you know, uh, you know, very gullible people are going to buy it. But, you know, I never will. But if you're, you know, you're conflating a guy who wants to hit it and quit it and a guy who wants to solidly commit to you. And the guys that you want to solidly commit to you are much higher rated than, than you would be. And that because that's how women are. Women are very hypergamous by nature. But then you conflate the dude's qualities who wants to hit it with the dude's qualities who wants to hit it for years and be with you and only hit it with you. You can't conflate those two qualities. That's what's happening. And that's why women say all men are trash. It's because it's just the men you're going for. You're going for the, the upper echelon of men. And as time goes on, you keep going for the, the higher and higher tier. And so you're compressing that higher tier with a great many of women, right? And so, you know, you have, you have most women going for the smallest, the smallest sliver of men. And it's men in that category for women like you who are trash because they just only had the intentions of hitting it. They never had the intentions of trying to wife you up or to date you. They didn't want to ever want that from the beginning. And if you, if you ever hear somebody, man or woman, tell you, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Or they, they play a little bit of games here or there. Or, you know, they, they, they do all that kind of nonsense. They're listen to them. If they tell you they're not looking for a relationship, listen to them, ladies. You're not going to change somebody's mind based off of what's in between your legs. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know you'd like to think that, but they're all, you know, everything that you have down there is relatively the same from woman to woman. Really what differentiates you from in that department is your skill, but that's a different video. So if you're going for that dude who's a nine or a 10 and say he's six foot four, so then you sleep with the dude and you enjoyed him. Um, you know, you're going to add that six foot four requirement onto other men. Um, but men who are just looking to smash you out don't need to meet your requirements. If you keep the same requirements for every single 
person, no matter what you'll, you, you're going to, well, what you're going to do is you're going to lower your body count. You're going to eliminate freaking the possibility of being messed with for s over several different people for a long period of time, wasting your time effectively. And you need to also realize the older you get, your requirement list should get smaller, not larger. If you're actually looking for somebody because you know, the difference between a, a 20 year old female who's maybe had one relationship or two, uh, unless you know the hot the participate in a hot girl summer, because I've met women who are 18, 19, even who have body counts over 50, 100, even which is insane anymore. That's just that's insanity. I remember one time that I went on a date with this girl and I took her to this nice Italian restaurant, you know. And um, we, we got to talking a little bit. She was pretty cool. Um, and she had mentioned that she go she has went on several dates. It was towards the end of the year. I think it was like maybe a week after my birthday or something. My birthday's in December. Um, so it was close to Christmas. And she said, uh, you know, she told me that she went on, you know, pretty much a date or two a week. Uh, sometimes three dates a week. Uh, with different men okay all right that's that's way that's way too high but what what turned me off from this lady is that she tried to have sex with me on the first date most men would take that i'm not most men um and the reason i didn't take it is because she had told me earlier how many dates she had been on you know one or two weeks sometimes three and it was entirely a, almost a whole year, uh, you know, so that that's potentially, you know, 100 to 150 bodies that she could have got just in that year because she tried to sleep with me on the first date. You know, the whole, oh, I don't usually do this. Um, it's uh, nobody buys that. Nobody buys that. that. It's just it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I know women say that to try to make a man feel special or disarm him, but it doesn't work for a lot of men anymore, thankfully. But, you know, my reasoning was, okay, so if she went on that many first dates with dudes um, and she doesn't usually do that, uh, but she's trying to do that with me. Like, yeah, I do consider myself a little bit special for sure. You, you, everybody should have a little bit of confidence. I try not to go overboard. But the point is, if she wanted to do that with me, there's a there's there's zero chance that she didn't want to do that with with anybody else in the, in that year that she dated, uh, you know, for those first dates. Uh, even if it was just half of them, that's still fifty. That's still fifty bodies. Uh, if it's a quarter of them, that's twenty five bodies. That's that's still an that's an insane amount for a year. Some people that's an insane amount for a lifetime. And so she didn't get it. I mean, you know, she she begged a bit at the end, you know, please, like, please, you know, like, it was some kind of, like, she needed it, but I didn't, because why would I? Why would I risk that? That's, that's crazy. Anyway, that's not the point of my video. I just like to give out some personal stories when I can. But ladies, if you find that you're saying that all men are trash, it's just the men that you're looking for. So maybe you want to change that up a bit, huh? Maybe maybe if you are realistic about what, what you are in terms of your appearance, at least, not in terms of your personality and all your other qualities. Those are things people will find out later. But as I said, in order to find out what's in the book, you need to read the cover. Your beauty is your cover. If you're beautiful as a man or a woman, uh, then people are going to read what's what you're about. They're going to want to learn more about you. Your beauty is just what brings you to the dance. Everything else is your ability to dance. So if you're more realistic about the men and women that you're dating, um, you know, in terms of your your outer beauty, uh, and you find somebody who's a little bit closer to your scale, the chances of them being like all other men are uh, rather slim you're minimizing your risk by doing that and and i know ladies consider that settling which is silly to think of um how how is a three settling for a six that's insane that's that's insane even if you're a three or a four and you're getting a five or a six you're doing very well for yourself and women don't think that anymore because they're all looking for that top tier dude the dude who's six foot 
taller, the dude who has a six inch dick or bigger, the dude who makes six figures or more, the dude that has a six pack or better. And if those aren't your standards and you, you know, you just date people based on what they are and not how they look good on you. I'm proud of you for that. That's the way you probably should date. Of course, you want somebody who looks a little bit attractive, but a four is going to be attractive to a three, right? Why else would it be a four if, if it's not better than a three? Me personally, I think I'm a seven or maybe, maybe an eight, but we'll say a seven. I, cause I, I don't care. I'll, whatever. I'm a, I'm a two. I don't, I really don't care. I'll date anybody on the spectrum at all. And that's how most men are really. That's how most men are. But when it's sex, they're going to open it up to a greater, much greater number. And you know, you can't take the qualities of that man who betted you and try to apply them to a man who wants to wed you. There's completely different standards and means to, to each end. So if you stay more, shop more within your price range, you're going to find more quality people for you. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Have a great day. This video is longer than my other videos, but I'm thinking I'm increasing the time a bit so I don't have to keep making these short little blurbs. I'm also thinking about doing shorts and I have something worked working in the future where I'm going to bring guests on male or female in order to uh, talk about issues and, and some of the maybe cover some of the videos I already did kind of give, give a little bit of an enrichment like a little bit of a bonus footage uh, and get more people's varied opinions uh, out to you so you can hear other what other people think as well. And um, I'm going to try to find people who don't agree with me, but I really truly feel deep down that most people do probably agree with me. Um, I'm considered uh, in the community, it's called a hope strategist, I suppose. I'm still hopeful that things can be turned around. Uh, and do I truly feel like they will? No, I don't. I don't, sadly. But I, I do want them to. I do feel that we're all capable of of human beings as correcting issues when we see them. And that's kind of why I'm here and why I made this channel for you all. Um, you know, it's not to get rich. It's not to sell you anything. I don't have a Patreon or, you know, an OnlyFans or, you know, I have Cash App, but I'm not, I haven't given that out yet because I'm not really trying to, I'm just trying to give you guys some advice, so... You can either take it or just tell me to fuck off. Whatever. I, I, it's whatever. I really don't care. Cancel me tomorrow. Whatever. I really don't care. It's all for you. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Callie. Callie wanted to say goodbye. Come on, Callie. Hi, Daddy. Come here. Oh. Oh, you're getting heavy. <laughs> say bye. Bye. Look, look at the camera. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> All right. All right. See you guys later. I'm going to go make her something to eat and uh, probably make another video after this. So if you see a vi videos where I'm wearing the same shirt close together, it's because I'm going to start batching the videos together, make three or four at a time. So this way I can give you guys yep, videos and you even maybe have a day off where I'm actually off. Mm, that would be wonderful for me. So I appreciate you all. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.